In today's video, we will be doing a get ready with me using drugstore products as well as high-end products. So I like to prep my skin with the Omega-3 Optimum Skin Oil by Ren Skincare. Two pumps. It really helps give me that smooth, flawless finish and um, really helps with my pigmentation. I'm going to be using the Hourglass Spanish Foundation in the shade Warm Beige. I love this foundation so much. Beauty Blender, this is from Thin Lizzy. Do not sleep on Thin Lizzy sponges. They're really good. So really good drugstore beauty blender. Now I'm going to conceal. I'm going to use the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade medium peach. Now I think this is too light for me but hey I just make it work. So I'm just going to lightly dab it under my eyes, under the bridge of my nose. And this stuff dries so fast, so you gotta be really quick. I, I like a really bright under eye, so. I just feel like it really changes your whole look. If you don't have concealer under your eyes, you just look flat. So it's really good to just Pop that under the eyes and I like to do it on the bridge of my nose as well to lift and define my nose. Yeah, I think I put too little product, but actually it looks good on camera. I just put a bit more on my nose. You know what, I might let that sit for a little bit. That way, it just really stays there. For brows, I'm gonna apply this. So it's the NYX Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso. And I really like the tip of it. I don't know if you can see. See how it's like flat? It's really different. And the other end has a spoolie brush. So, brush it up and then fill it in. So, just I'm just winding it down. I'm just filling in my patchy brows. I regret over plucking them so much. I remember my grandma telling me, do not pluck your brows. And I wish I listened to her. Cause I went, Harry. <laughs> I remember plucking the top as well as the bottom. And I had like these little thin tadpole looking things. Brushing. This product is really good. It glides on so well. And it's the perfect shade. See the difference? To set my brows, I'm going to use the Blasting Free Spray by Swartzkopf. And I spray it on my spoolie. So this spoolie is from Savannah Rose Cosmetics. And brush it upwards because I like that sort of bold, bushy look. And it dries really well. I 
When I went to the makeup by Mario um, Masterclass, he uses this, but in like a, I think it's it's exactly the same brand and packaging. It's yellow. <coughs> Can't breathe. Sorry. But I think it's in like a gel form. It's like a bottle where like you squeeze a product out, but I couldn't find it. So I grabbed the spray instead and I love it. Look, it's amazing. So just quickly show you. Look at the difference. Amazing. Now that that's set, I'm going to grab my NYX Cosmetics Tinted Brow Mascara. I've been using this for years and it is so good. So just add a bit of color. And it just really helps keep the brows in place as well. Love that. Now I'm going to carve out my brows. I'm going to carve it out using the P. Louise base in the shade number three. And I just pop it on like this. And then a brush. Just carve it out. I really like this stuff for carving out the brows. I don't use any concealer because in the past I found some concealers leak into the brow and then one day it looked like I had blue brows and I was like oh my god what's wrong with my brows and I realized it's because I used a different concealer so I don't do that anymore um, I either use this P. Louise or um, the RCMA foundation cream to carve out my brows If you don't carve your brow out, you got to start now because see how like when I drew my brow on, it wasn't so perfect, but it just, once you carve it out, it just gives you that perfect crisp brow. And then I like to pop it on the top as well, like from halfway. Like that. So I sort of like it. I don't like it too perfect here. But then at the end, like where the tail of my brow is, I like it crisp. I'm just gonna dab my concealer on my nose. Oh, see what I mean? How it dries so quick. That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to put highlighter on there anyway. Okay, so now I'm going to bronze my face up. I'm going to be using the Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer. I've hit pan because this is my OG favorite bronzer in the world. It's not too warm tone, but it's not too cool tone on me. Do my cheeks. And then concealer brush and I'm just gonna contour my nose it's 
So now I'm going to apply blush. I'm going to use the Milani Bates Powder Blush in the shade Dolce Pink. This is a nice drugstore um, blush. I got this from Priceline as well, and it's like a shimmery blush. And it's such a nice tone. It sort of really gives you a highlighter as well, like you don't even need highlighter. But I love highlighter, so I'll be adding more, don't you worry. Now my base is pretty much done. I'm going to bake using the e.l.f. Cosmetics HD Powder. Um, I got this from Target. Target. And I really like the packaging. It's like one of those twist seal top things. I don't know how to describe it. So just pop a little bit onto the lid. And then my powder puff, I'm just going to dab it in and we're going to bake. I love baking. I think that's one thing that I just can't not do. I always incorporate it in my routine. It just really chisels out the face so you can see my bronzer. A lot more whereas when you don't bake it just sort of just blends in all together and a lot goes a long way with this powder I like to do my chin so that like lip gloss and lipstick doesn't transfer we're gonna do the bridge of my nose, my forehead, because I get a bit oily there. Really impressed with this powder. Like, look how much it sets the skin. It really mattifies. Um, and so I'm going to do the sides of my nose and a little bit under my eyes. But I'm going to use a smaller beauty blender. So this is from some Savannah Rose Cosmetics. It's the smaller beauty sponge. And I'm just going to dab it right next to where I contoured. So you see how it chills out my nose as well. You can go in a little bit more if you like. There's no right or wrong when it comes to makeup. To leave that on for a minute or two. Now for eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill collaboration with Morphe palette in volume one. I love these. I got it from Mecca and it's one of my go-to palettes. Really love it. And today I feel like I want to do a cool tone shimmery eye. So I'm going to jump in and use the shade Chip. Which is like this cool tone brown. And I'm just going to pop that on the outer corner of my eye. Using a fluffy brush. Then I've got a towel here, a black towel, and I just swoosh my brush into it to get rid of the product I just used. And I pick up a different color. So I'm going to dip into Central Park, which is a lighter brown. And I'm just going to pop that shade right here. 
so towards the inner corner and connecting it to the outer. Clean my brush again. On the towel, I'm just going to blend the outer corners and blend it all together. And it's all about the brush you use. The brush I'm using is a Morphe M505. If you want to know what my favorite brushes are, I did just post a video about my favorite brushes. So if you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. I'm going to do under the eyes. So using the same shade, the same shades. I'm just going to layer them one on top of the other. So the one I just picked up was Chip. And then I'm going to go into Central Park. And just connecting it. Now I'm going to grab my P. Louise base again. And I'm just going to carve out my lid. So I'm going to pop a line just above my lash line like that and I'm just going to look up, look down and it's going to create a crease for me already and I'm just going to follow that along. It's sort of like a guideline, like a stencil. Shout out to Michael Finch. I learned this from him. Here's my concealer brush. So we're just going to blend that all in, connect it, okay so I'm not going to take it all the way down. I just sort of take it three quarters from the inner corner. I stop right there. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to blend that section out. So I'm just going to grab another fluffy brush, but a smaller one. I'm going to grab the shade Soda Pop just here. So it's not quite black. It's the darker shade just before it. And we're just going to dab that outer section. I've got a bit of blue on my... I don't know if it's looking blue because of my brush, but I tried washing this brush and the blue wouldn't come off. <laughs> okay. So this brush is... I don't even know what it's called, but just a DMT 173S. I think it stands for designer makeup tools. Don't correct me on that though. And it's the Silky Soft Shader Finest Natural Mix brush. I'm gonna pick up the Morphe M505 and then just gently, very gently blend that together. We're gonna grab the shade Bean using a really small brush. This is in Pauline Pettis BR7. And I'm just gonna do it on the start off in the inner corner and take it just about there. This is a nice like a subtle shimmery tone 
Then same thing, I'm gonna the brush, take that product off onto the towel. And, hmm. Sort of like how that looks, but let's go in with this shade up here. It's called Silk Cream. And then we're just going to fill out the middle. don't really like how that's looking look we all like to go with the flow so we're all learning together I'm going to grab yeah we'll do that so this is this shade just here it's called hustle and we're gonna grab that and we're going to pop it on top of that product I just, of that shade I just popped there. Okay, that looks much better. Loving it, loving how it's looking so far. I'm gonna go in and fill in my waterline with a black liner. This is the Urban Decay 24 hour waterline eyeliner in the shade Legend. Pretty sure, yes. So it's a 24 hour pencil. So good. This has been my go-to for years. I like to do on the upper, the upper waterline as well. It just binds everything together. And I haven't done a liquid liner in a while, so I'm gonna do a, a liner. Especially with like eyeshadow looks like this, I find a liquid liner is so flattering. So I'm going to be using the roller liner from Benefit Cosmetics and it's just black. So this is my favorite way of doing liner, especially because my eyes are hooded. Um, and one of the tricks are to keep your eye open when you do it. If you close it, it just, it doesn't look right. So see now when I look down, it's just so effortless and so perfect. I don't need tape, I don't need anything. It's so good. So just keep your eye open and then I just, do that. Sometimes I just leave it like that and I really like how it looks but in today's look I'm going to join it all together so I'm just going to lightly just dab it on. I sort of lean against my eyelashes as much as possible so it's a really crisp black line. I'm going to put my favourite mascara on, it's the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara in the shade Ultra Black. Another tip to really get the liner to be very crisp, if you look closely it's not that crisp. Just get a makeup wipe. I like to use these ones. These are from Woolies and they're literally a dollar eighty or something, and they're so good. I don't um, feel really oily after, and it really removes the makeup and smells good. So I get the one with the pink on it, and it says for dry and sensitive skin. So I literally just do this and hold my face up like this and then just clean it up and then I grab my concealer 
brush. I don't add any more product and just whatever's on there. And then I just fill it in like so. And then I grab my beauty blender and just jab like that. Okay. So now I've got my mascara on. I'm going to pop lashes. I'm going to be using the Savannah Rose Cosmetics lashes in the Honey Collection. These are my go-to lashes at the moment. They're so good. And the lash glue is by Ardell. It's the Lash Grip Dark Adhesive. I find the dark adhesive dries a lot faster. Then the white one, oh sorry, the clear, I don't know if it's white or clear, it comes out white and turns clear. Um, so ever since I found this one, I've been obsessed. I also like the Huda Beauty Eyelash Glue, but yeah, that one's from Sephora. Like there's no point of me getting that. I just go to my local price line and grab it. So I'm just gonna, um, let that sit and get really tacky um, but in the meantime I'm just gonna do my other eye and I'll be right back all right you guys so I've popped my lashes on seriously love these lashes they just complete the look now I'm gonna grab mascara I'm just gonna pop that on my bottom lashes love mascara on the bottom lashes makes such a difference and i like to go back and forth just to lay them if i want them to stand out heaps then i change the angle of the brush like on how i apply it makes such a difference i noticed my bronzer sort of like vanished i don't know what happened to it so instead of going with that big brush that i used previously i'm going to go in with a fan brush and i'm just going to pop more bronzer just where i did before so i like to use a fan brush as highlighter you can use it as more of a defined bronzer so just really deepen my cheeks that way we're not losing that chiseled look it's still there and then I'll just put more on my forehead jawline get rid of that double chin <laughs> and down on my neck Remember, your neck is still part of your face, so you contour your neck too. If you're going to contour your face, contour your neck. Okay, so now we're going to go in with highlighter. I'm going to be using the Revlon Skin Light Highlighter in the shade Twilight Gleam 202 and my Luxie 181 brush. So we're going to start off with my nose. So I'm going to grab this end of the brush and we're just going to like that and then we're just going to pop that right in the center of my nose like that. Then I'm going to grab the tip of my finger, I'm just going to rub it in and just where you can see it's highlighted there because of my light. I'm going to place it on top of there. I just need the mirror to see that. So sometimes I use a brush, but sometimes I like to use my finger too. And then I'll grab my ring finger again. And then I'm just going to dab this section here with my finger. 
honestly sometimes when you use your finger it just picks the product up a lot better than a brush so because this highlighter is it's amazing it's so good but i just find using your finger it picks up the product so well so i'm going to do the same thing using the other side of the brush i'm going to highlight my cheekbones so just where you can see the where the light is reflecting i'm just going to follow that So if you have a really bright light while you're doing your makeup, um, a ring light, um, in my case I'm using a softbox, it really helps the high um, highlighter placement. So to highlight the inner corners of my eye, I like to use this bullet brush, which is the BR12. Let me use that again. Dab it in and just dab it. Yes. Sometimes the littlest detail can make such a difference. Um, if you want it to stand out even more, you could even spray your brush. <clears throat> to line my lips, I'm going to use a MAC lip liner in the shade Cork. I've been loving this lately for my nude lip looks. I'm going to fill in my lip using the NYX Lingerie Push Up Long Lasting Lipstick in the shade Lace Detail. I love this. This is so good. So you could literally just do this and end the look here if you like that matte look but I'm such a gloss girl I feel so naked without gloss I'm going to be going in with the NYX Cosmetics again in the shade Butter Gloss oh, sorry <laughs> NYX Cosmetics Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline and it is the perfect nude gloss I'm obsessed with it and it's such a good drugstore gloss, super long lasting. Setting spray, I'm going to be using the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. I am obsessed with this stuff. I love it so much. Honestly, I reckon it's a dupe of the Tatcha Luminous Setting Spray and it's it's like quarter the price and it's amazing. I'm obsessed with it. So I'm just gonna drench my face in it. And then I like to grab a fan and just, actually I feel like I didn't do much on this side. really set it in the I find when you fan the face it really just melts everything together all right you guys so this concludes my video I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up comment share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye